Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the new Salesforce Business Analyst Certification. We're gonna be looking at what the prerequisites are, what the study material that is available for it, and everything you would need to know if you're wanting to do this new certification. This was announced in June or July of 2022, I believe. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I have new Salesforce content coming out each week. I do at least one video a week, sometimes two. And let's just jump straight into it. Salesforce business analyst. So candidates should have knowledge of Salesforce best practice and proficient in planning discovery activities, mapping business processes, elicit requirements, and writing user stories. There is a prerequisite for this certification. It is the at least the Salesforce Administrator cer uh, certification. So as you know, there's an Administrator certification and then an advanced one. So you only need the Admin cert. The, the, well, I don't want to call it basic because I passed mine and it is a tough exam you have to study for, but you need at least the Administrator certification. So scrolling on down, they have the study and prepare. So we have our Salesforce Trails business analyst trails mix here. And we also have the cert prep Salesforce business uh, analyst module as well that you can take. And they offer, you know, a trailblazer community that you can join. I've opened up the exam guide in another tab here. So let's take a look at what kind of content we have here. So scrolling down, we've already read the about. So looking at what the audience description is here. So a Salesforce certified business analyst drives business improvements and collaborates with stakeholders to understand business needs and value in the context of customer environment. Having, you know, this candidate has experience working in particular industry or domain or supporting the business with the Salesforce platform. And it just lists the different platforms here. So basically what they're saying is this is meant for people that not only have their admin certification that but are actually already in an, a uh, Salesforce position at a company, whether it's admin or maybe some type of application analyst, uh, someone that's got experience uh, in, within that field. Moving on down, it says the Salesforce certified business analyst has the following experience. Two years of business analyst experience, including demonstrated success owning and delivering business process improvements. Two years of Salesforce platform experience. So that's pretty interesting. So this certification really is not an entry level certification. It's saying, hey, you need two years working with the platform and you need two years in a business analyst role. Moving on down to the knowledge section, so familiar with the Salesforce implementation lifecycle, understanding the Salesforce environment best practices, experience in a given industry environment, understanding facilitation and documentation, documentation techniques. Yeah, that's, that's great. And then looking at the skills, plan discovery activities based on key stakeholders, apply strong analytical and problem solving skills. So I mean, any business analyst, you should have that quality. I mean, that's what you do as a business analyst, right? So looking here, it says a candidate for this exam may need assistance with negotiating stakeholder conflict, designing and implementing business solutions. As you can see, you know, there, there, this is where if you're coming into the certification, you probably will need to study a lot to learn these key, uh, key things they're asking for. And same for this next section here, right? A candidate for this exam is not expected to know the following. So developing custom code or building uh, ROI, managing project, change management. So that's not part of this certification. So typical jobs, job roles a Salesforce certified business analyst may include business analyst, consultant, platform manager, CRM manager, Salesforce administrator, business excellence leader. So that's, that's actually kind of interesting. I'm surprised they um, kind of put Salesforce admin down there, but I mean, that's good to know. We're talking about the exam. So this is the juicy stuff, right? Content, 60 multiple choice questions with five non-scored. That's the same as your admin certification. We have 60 questions, five don't get scored. Time allotted is 105 minutes. Passing score, 72%. That's actually pretty high. I believe admin cert's like 63 or 65%. I don't can't remember quite offhand. That's a pretty high score as far as Salesforce goes. 
$200 registration fee, $100 retake fee. My opinion, study up, pass it on the first try if you can, save you that $100 retake fee. They do offer promo codes from time to time, so take advantage of that if you happen to get one. As with any other certification for Salesforce, you can't have any study material around you, no hard copy or email materials during the exam. Gotta make sure it is legit. So they do, here's the trail mix in the module that was on the other tab is recommended training. And this is pretty key too. This is the breakdown of the section. So like customer discovery, let's just open up here. So 17% determine business strategies, goals, initiatives, and challenges to define the scope of a business process. And I'm not going to read every one of these, but like apply the implementation lifecycle for planning business analyst activities. This is 17% of this exam. That's, that's a decent amount. You're going to want to know this. This is the big, uh, biggest section is collaboration with stakeholders. So you can kind of see the angle they're taking with this certification, right? It's all about implementing processes, finding solutions for problems, and working with many stakeholders to develop solutions, right? So plan discovery activities based on the target stakeholders to perform thorough analysis of business needs. Given a scenario, choose the most effective technique for eliciting business needs from stakeholders. What does that mean? That means you're holding meetings, talking about things that need to be done within the application, and you're trying to pull information from these stakeholders that you need to help build the solution. Sometimes people aren't very talkative in group settings. I'm sure you've experienced that at your job, so you need to be good at being kind of that center of, a, I don't want to say center of attention, but like that central hub of being able to gather information from everybody and then decipher it. That's what this all is right here. That's pretty interesting to me. Business process mapping. Demonstrate how to define the scope of complex business process and break it down into manageable steps. Apply governance on agreed future state processes to, to control scope. So this is mapping out the business process. This is pretty interesting compared to maybe your admin certifications that you've been looking at or like the app builder certification. So that's interesting. Requirements. Distinguish between requirements versus user stories to engage business and technical stakeholders. Verify and prioritize existing requirements and identify new requirements to develop the future state. So that's pretty, I mean, this this is pretty cool. 17%, yeah, um, document requirements and a, a version control repository to manage scope. And then we have user stories. It's pretty self-explanatory. And then looking at the last user acceptance is only 8%. The way I kind of approach these certifications is you want to go after the big chunks first, right? You know, the way I look at, what, 24 points there. You got your 17, 17, 16, and 18. These are your big players. This is nice to know. You can kind of get eight points away, but you want to try to get those points too, obviously. But um, if you're kind of strategizing for passing a certification, this is uh, low on that totem pole, right? Define and prepare the user acceptance test plan to confirm the solution meets the business requirements. What does that mean? UAT testing, right? Guide UAT and manage the results to determine whether the solution meets the requirements. So... That's kind of all the information they have down here. It talks about how to maintain your certification, but that's nothing new if you're in, you know, already into Salesforce certifications. And if you're watching this video, most likely you probably already have your admin certification or another certification like that, right? Right now, study material that I would recommend is following the trail mix they offer in the module. I looked and on Focus on Force, which I've recommended uh, for the admin certification, and then as of filming this, I am about a week away from taking my app builder certification. So I'm using Focus on Force there. As soon as the they add the business analyst study um, kind of modules to that, I'm sure they will. Um, I would recommend checking out Focus on Force has been great for me, and I use the Trail Mix and Focus on Force to study for my certifications. So keep an eye out on Focus on Force as well. I'm sure it will come up, and Salesforce Ben is another great resource. Um, they may have some more up-to-date business analyst certification info on there, so I, I would check that out as well. But if you like the video, please make sure you like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. 
subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.